This is a preview of the course Introduction to Duplicate Cleaner Pro 5, so you can find out what this course is all about. Hi, I'm Meg McIntyre. The goal of this course is to get you well acquainted with Duplicate Cleaner Pro 5, which I'll refer to as DCP from now on. DCP is the most powerful photo and video duplicate removal application for PC or for Mac. If you're a Mac user, it's worth getting a PC for. After all, don't you want to use the best applications for your client's projects? I've used DCP since 2016, and I've been collaborating with the developers since 2021 to improve DCP for all professional photo organizers. DCP is complicated, and that's because duplicate removal can be very complicated. But once you understand the many settings and options available, and how they can be combined for maximum effectiveness, you'll be able to remove duplicates much more accurately, thoroughly, and profitably. This course is a prerequisite for other DCP courses by Photo Organizing Stuff. It includes instructions for common DCP tasks so that information does not need to be included and repeated in every DCP course I create. This course is not a substitute for the DCP manual. While the manual includes valuable information, it does not offer recommendations. This is not a how-to course, but it will prepare you for other DCP how-to courses. The course has 12 chapters and a total of 127 pages. 311 screenshots were used to show the user interface, recommended settings and options, and lots of examples. The sample PDF document includes at least one page from each chapter and is available to download on the course website. There is no video for this course. My testers and I agree, it's just not needed. James, the lead developer at Digital Volcano, sent me this kind endorsement. I hope you'll pause the video and read what he wrote about me and my involvement in DCP5's development. It's easier to learn when the resources are clear and easy to understand. Not only am I an expert at using DCP, but I studied technical communications and have extensive experience writing technical and how-to documents. And yes, the images of the pages you see are blurred. I'm not prepared to give away my knowledge. This course includes a lot of important information about the many settings and options on the Scan Criteria tab. No other duplicate removal application comes close to offering the choices available here for setting and adjusting the criteria that will determine what will be displayed on the Duplicate Files tab. This course explains all aspects of this tab to help you make better choices. When you make better choices, you'll get more accurate results. The Selection Assistant area of the Duplicate Files tab is where a lot of decision making happens. You can mark duplicates using default options as well as options for any image tags you chose on the Scan Criteria tab. I offer a lot of advice about using the Selection Assistant. If your scan criteria are well chosen and you know what the difference or differences will be amongst the files in the duplicate groups, you'll come to realize that just a handful of marking options suit most situations. After duplicates have been marked for removal, it's time to move to the File Removal tab. That's where you get to decide what you'll do with the duplicates you're removing. Will you delete them or move them? If you move them, where will you move them to? Will you recreate the folder structure in the destination folder when you move them? I'll let you know what I do and why. It's important to understand that this course does not include step-by-step -step instructions. 
There are no instructions for selecting scan criteria for scans, but there will be in a future course. There are no instructions for marking duplicates for removal, but there will be in a future course. And there are no instructions for deleting, copying, or moving marked duplicates, but there will be in a future course. This course is a prerequisite for the following courses. Digital file gathering and filtering. This course will guide you through the process of gathering all your clients' photos and videos, then filtering them using DCP to ensure no unwanted files like video preview images and music album artwork are in your client's collection. DCP is great for so much more than duplicate removal. File Management with Duplicate Cleaner Pro 5. The file management tasks I teach, like separating out undated photos, will clean up your client's collection so that later duplicate removal and other tasks can be done more accurately, thoroughly, and efficiently. Once again, DCP is not just for duplicate removal. I know you're looking forward to a duplicate photo removal course but trust me and trust the process. Your speed, accuracy, and profitability will benefit greatly from what you do before you begin duplicate removal. Duplicate removal success is closely tied to proper file gathering, file filtering, and file management. Those tasks take time, but will end up saving you more time later Photo deduping with Duplicate Cleaner Pro 5. This course will include a general duplicate removal workflow that will suit most collections. In 2025, I'll be offering a more advanced course for removing duplicates while preserving all added metadata and added information, like meaningful folder names. Video deduping with Duplicate Cleaner Pro 5. Only DCP has the date metadata fields you need to compare and ensure accurate video deduping. Checking the capture date, file created date, or file modified date of your client's videos is so unreliable. This course will include a spreadsheet with steps, the scan criteria for each step, and instructions for marking the results. please visit courses.photoorganizingstuff.com to learn more and download the sample PDF. Thank you for watching.